Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't focused. Yeah. Still got that pooch. Alright. Oh my gosh. I made this way too tight. <laughs> like sitting here, I'm like, this is tighter than I wanted it to be. The only one with the bucket. The other one's dirty. <laughs> I realized I picked. I picked up my other apron that I was wearing Sunday and it had just like cashew butter across it. So it was doing its job as a, uh, you know, an apron, keeping my, my shirts clean. Okay. So we haven't had dinner yet. I'm just dinner. So I will be, I will be focusing. Oh yeah, um, this is actually going to be my first time making arroz con pollo, and it's a. I'm going to be following a recipe for the most part, uh, so it should be interesting. Uh, it should be fine. My mom used to make it a decent amount, but I never really asked her for her recipe. I know hers is a little different than the one I'm looking at, but we'll see what happens. So. Kanji's in the camera now, but he's had a rough day. Uh, he, I think he injured his back paw. So we'll see how long he's gonna be wanting to stay on camera. But I know at one point I am gonna have to move that camera over. Yeah, unplug this and put this here so I can see this laptop. Um, so first things first, that I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna take my chicken. I got a combination of chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs. I figured why not live adventurously. Arroz con pollo is chicken with rice <laughs> and a lot of spices. Um, the one I'm specifically following is a Cuban based one because um, this month my friends and I have picked the theme of Cuban uh, food to kind of explore that. This weekend, I'm not gonna be on stream, but I'm gonna be doing Cuban sandwiches, so I'm kind of excited for that. Uh, there'll be pictures. <laughs> there will definitely be pictures everywhere. But that is a, a, a long, slow cooking process. Um, but yeah, it has uh, a lot of spices, kind of cumin, coriander, garlic, peppers. Um, I, I might boil, boil. So I grabbed the saffron for that. My mom, when she makes her Spanish rice, she tends to put saffron in. I know saffron can be pricey. Um, this recipe doesn't call for it, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how, wh how I decide I'm feeling in like 20 minutes when I'm at that point <laughs> of like needing it. So. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just plop chicken. I'm just putting it in a bowl over here just so I could have it sit there and marinate for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, if you could check that for me, that'd be great. Is my... Something I've learned with chicken thighs is sometimes there's more skin on it than I want. I can put a 
pair of scissors together. <laughs> Gonna clean this up. Yeah, so I started a little earlier today than I usually do. I think I'm trying to figure out this Wednesday stream schedule. So if I start later, if I start at like six central time, Jeff and I aren't eating till like eight at night. It's like, ah, uh, let me try at least a half hour earlier. Today worked out because, yeah, with Kanji hurting his foot, he didn't, he didn't really get much of a walk this afternoon. But there is that benefit of having a backyard. Woo! So he could, he was able to sunbathe. Because it is very warm <laughs> today. I don't think it hit 90, but it got close. Kanji's not amused because he hurt his paw, and he's not sure if he wants to be here today. So. <laughs> so, Kanji has a, a previous injury, is that the easy way to put it? Um, five years back? Five years back, he kind of had a, the short story, uh, his nervous system attacked his, no, his immune system attacked his nervous system, and then he kind of lost feeling in his back right, yeah, his back right palm. So that leg tends to have, it drags, because his, his walking, like, for a while, he could not move it at all. Um, so occasionally, he'll drag it um, more so than usual. And I think however he was dragging it this weekend, because we noticed he was kind of dragging it, so we were putting like some cream and some spray to make sure his paws didn't get messed up. Um, but it looks like, I think yesterday he was goofing around. He got really excited because he stayed home from work and he started sprinting around the house. And I think he might have pulled something, I think. Actually, I'm gonna, mm, mm probably want to put gloves on just because this is going to get real messy real quickly. The marinating part. Now, this I'm doing extra because I saw one recipe that had like a little bit of a short marinade and I was like, oh, that seems nice. The base recipe I'm using is like, oh, just put salt and pepper and some cumin on the chicken. I'm like, no, nah, let's, let's go all out. I'll have wet hands. Jeff, you gotta give Kanji the hugs. It's not safe if I give Kanji hugs right now. Yeah, during that process we met with a doggy neurologist, doggy physical therapist. So, there was a point where we were, we're not sure if Kanji was gonna make it, but he's here with us. So it's all Kanji bonus time is what we call it so we're <laughs> no that is definitely not the way we wanted to learn that but it was interesting the uh the physical therapist was interesting because she used to be a physical therapist for people and then at some point in her career she decided to transition to pets so kanji had a bunch of exercises that he had to do to kind of like stretch his back legs and <laughs> and do extra things like that I also need to grab the salt and pepper. Oh, that would be on. Oh, I didn't give myself water. When you come. Or did I? No, yeah, there's no water in there. There we go. You're kind of a little, a little spooky picture of the, the prince. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You can see I'm just really kind of just throwing in a bunch of spices. So the spices I'm throwing in here are, are, oh, you know what? Can you get me the paprika? Uh, you might want to go the, oh, okay. I'm putting garlic powder and ga grab the saffron too that's in there. Uh, cumin, coriander, I did oregano, and I'm gonna put a little bit of turmeric too. Oh. 
Yeah, the California one. I don't want the smoked one. I think I've decided I don't like smoked uh, paprika as much. It's sometimes a little stronger than I want it to be. Okay. So I got all my wonderful spices, kind of, I guess the spices. Again, we're cooking, so don't have to be exact with numbers. I'm not baking. There's no rules here. I'm just gonna mix this all together. And the bell pepper's going to take you to Flavor Town. Actually, that onion's like really blown out. We're all gonna go to Flavor Town. So, now because the gloves I don't have to deal with anything but I have my chicken here just kind of like mixed in with all those spices uh oh you grab the ugly ugly one <laughs> um I'm gonna let this sit on the side so it's not gonna be out for too long so I'm not worried about like weird temperature stuff I'm gonna let it sit for until I cut everything once everything's cut I'm gonna start start searing it and that's when we'll also start uh seeing how we could move kanji's camera over here if we could get it onto the stove somehow so it's a little bit of experimenting with our camera layouts for now we were gonna bring <laughs> so actually at work because kanji gets to go to work with us he sometimes likes to escape the office so we have a webcam that jeff has at his computer and it just sits there watching him all day just kind of doggy jail uh oh, he's demanding belly rubs. No, no, he's not because I'm watching. Kanji starts bringing in the ingredients with a little fake doggy hand while he's also laying there. That would be impressive on his part. Um, but I was like, today, Jeff, oh, we should bring the webcam home so I could s maybe have three webcams and test like a stove one because I realized after I like picked the recipes I was gonna do, I was like, oh, a lot of these are over the stove top. So I need to kind of be careful with not having my back to y'all the, the entire evening. Of course, as I'm pulling through the garage, I'm like, hmm, definitely didn't bring that back home. Paprika is gangsta. Yeah, it's a big one. Actually, I'm. I'm running low on, <laughs> on paprika. This is why I'm bad at onion cutting. I will never learn. I know you're supposed to leave like the butt end on and then you're supposed to cut nicely. But every time I start cutting an onion, I'm like, oops, cut it off. Bad old habits. The sprinkler is still on, yes. I'm happy you remembered. Well, good. We're getting to the point of summer now. Basically, Texas just jumps from cool weather to, uh, oh, just kidding, it's gonna be 90 degrees. Ha, 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 have fun. So, we're trying to be proactive with our, our lawn this year and making sure it gets enough water. I think we're at right now we're kind of, the water levels are a little lower. And they normally should be this time of year. You get a variety of things. You get doggy facts. You get um, random weather talk. See? Variety. 94 in Austin. Blech. Blech. Here it was barely 90. <laughs> I don't know if it actually did hit 90. But it was also humid. Hmm usual Actually, I don't this piece was being real weird but I agree I have a plate so I don't overcrowd my board no kan kanji has hands I'm gonna kind of give this a rough rough little chakarina this is gonna 
be a good like portion of our flavoring our onions and of course me as always I have a pile of garlic the recipe calls for like fi uh, I think five cloves I'm like whatever just grab a handful because <laughs> that's how I am with garlic I know it goes in at a different time so we'll deal with chopping that now <laughs> five garlic grab a whole handful <laughs> I would say that garlic doesn't hurt anyone, but you know, some people unfortunately can't eat garlic. <laughs> also, it's starting earlier. Kanji's gonna be like, "Where's my dinner? Why am I why am I laying on this bed before eating?" <laughs> She's getting close to dinner time for him. The garlic just wants to kind of like explode everywhere, but stay where. Hey, especially when I buy the lar So <laughs> Recently I've become lazy. Um, so a lot of recipes that'll have like garlic and I'm like, oh, I gotta peel the garlic. I gotta take it out. So Costco, I noticed had like these big <laughs> like jars of here's pre-peeled garlic. Now, the last time I bought it, I got through about a little more than half of it before it started getting funky. So this time around, I'm like, well, I guess I just have to double the garlic that I'm putting in everything. Because <laughs> it, it still ends up being cheap, cheaper than garlic. Because garlic, so the price fluctuates a lot here. Remember when I first moved down here, I was like, you get two whole garlic heads for a dollar. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And now sometimes it's, you could get a garlic head for a dollar. I'm like, no. I went to find more reasons to use uh, black garlic. Stuff's definitely pricier, but the, the flavor it gives like it kind of gives a nice little fermented taste to things but it's so delicious I did it on some steaks and it was very nice chip chop chip chop chip chop hi nina <laughs> hey that's that's the correct choice so I'm like, I definitely will be able to go through uh, all of my garlic this time. If I follow that, that way of the, the world. Okay. That's good enough. We don't have to be perfect with the, whoop, the chopping. As long as it's mostly minced up. Okay, bell pepper. Keep looking at this yellow one and it's like, it's definitely a little past its prime, but I'll probably be able to cut some of it. So I do want some of this red bell pepper, which I believe it goes in at the same time as the onion. In the same pot that you fry the chicken, salted the onion and the red pepper. It does call for a singular red pepper, but I had that yellow pepper in there too that was kind of looking sad, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the whole thing, so we'll add that. Because why not? I mean, yeah, I also have garlic. <laughs> uh, I also bought this from Costco. I t I typically do my spice shopping. There's a, a place up in Chicago that does deliver down here. So I typically do that. Um, but I was out and I wasn't out of other spices. So it's like, ah, I don't really want to make an order for that. So I'll just buy this large container. Even though like I bought a large Ziploc bag from them. It's, it's the spice that I go through the, the quickest. 
Heck yeah. I'm so spoiled though, because we have, so when we first moved down to Houston, the closest Costco was across town and it was a 40 minute drive. So we did not go to Costco all that often. Now it's five minutes away. <laughs> so that's super exciting. They've been slowly adding more and more. That's not true. There was an in-between point where there was one that was like 20 minutes away. Yeah. Yes, ours has gas too. And I've been like, ah. Oh. So, AGB is the big uh, grocery store. So they opened a nicer one. <laughs> H-E-B, your, your newest partner of the Houston Outlaws. That's me with my long hair. Mm. Um, they opened a newer one that's like a larger market than the one that's the closest to us. And they have gas and it's typically uh, it's typically cheaper than ever, everywhere else. Like the Shell stations or the fake Bucky's. Um, that's a Texas thing too. Oh God, Jeff, we've been, we're so ingrained in Texas at this point. Clearly, Jeff, what we should have had is just an entire uh, stream of us eating Texas-shaped tortilla chips <laughs> without saying any words, just ASMR Texas-shaped chip eating. Oh my God, I hope they have money again. <laughs> my, poor, my poor Houston outlaws. At least they're, they're taking care of each other. They need more brownies. They need, well, not gonna bring brownies to Dallas. And those were just for Mooma, Jeff, please. Oh yeah, no, that's <laughs> open bell pepper, green in the inside, fuzzy green. Don't want that, <laughs> but that's fine. I was just extra. Oh my gosh, I hope so. Because the Outlaws definitely are one of the teams that has like made the least amount of movements, but we'll see if they do anything. Okay, so it's about kanji dinner time. So, okay, y'all are gonna have to bear with me while I try to, <laughs> try to put something here that I could put the camera on. So. Oh my gosh. I did all the spices, but I didn't put any salt or pepper on the, the chicken. I even told myself, I need to put salt and pepper on the chicken. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. The hell? Someone has like a very loud bass outside. Yeah, it went to the uh, wrong flavor town. No one wants to do that mistake. That's a, that's a big no-no. All right, so let's turn off the Kaju cam for a moment. You get on that side. So I don't walk past the, the current camera. And while we slowly move that, Maybe we'll win it on. Maybe I don't want to use this. I'm trying to think. So the issue is I have to grab rice out of here. That's not high enough. Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I swear I was I was contemplating this earlier, but I clearly did not contemplate hard enough. a bit taller so we'll see <laughs> wrap it around that and we'll use the there's a lot more cord that we could bring over here so yeah what no, so maybe we need to go a little higher. Yeah. Not by much. 
Uh, turn the ca I don't want to make people sick. <laughs> I know it's the little camera, but we don't want to. Try. Try that. It's a little better. I'm going to do this one right now. This is later. It's no no it's from it's for later. So at some point I'll swap it and I'll move this one on there. That's for the rice pudding. Mm. Oh, it will be. Look at this. Watch this. Ready? 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 Yeah. Let's get excited. So focus. It's a sad camera. You can tell the difference. And hopefully if so I know I've heard people mention that sometimes where webcams are placed weird, especially in the kitchen, it can cause a little bit of a <laughs> oh man. It's, just let me know if you guys get any like like seasick. All right. You feed Yeah, if anyone gets seasick, uh say something. And we'll switch it back to the little one. And then there's a little Mickey in the corner. I literally set this scene up like Five minutes before the stream started, because I was like, oh, what can I do? Uh, fix, 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 fix. So, I am heating my pan up. Chat is part of the recipe. You're going to go into the pot. I've been putting, so in my normal streams, I don't have chat there. Uh, but in the cooking ones, I've been putting it there when I, so I have been backing them up. Um, one has to get edited naughty people um and the other ones i just have to make sure are fine and then actually just put them there but i figured since i'm interacting with chat the whole time that chat should be there in the little little corner um should i back it up yeah. higher yeah i'm gonna start what i'm doing this is this is all a test. Well, the recipe is... Oh my god. Why? Actually, let me get... Don't want olive oil. I would like canola oil. Dee 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 dee. Dee dee. Dee dee. Just enough to cover that bottom area. And since I have so much chicken, this is going to have to be done... Oh, a kanji dinner cooking stream? To show how complicated his dinner is. So there is kanji's in the upper right hand corner. Uh, kanji's mush before it is uh, rehydrated. <laughs> kanji should, ro uh, Jeff should role play kanji. Huh? No, he's saying that in one stream you just sit there and you play, you play uh, as kanji. Not that you eat kanji's food. We don't want unhealthy. It is technically raw food, so that would not be. Yes, eat the food raw. That's just what you need. <laughs> Sam said he would donate to see you eat eat kanji's food. <laughs> It's like, me, me, we would have to be a, a little. I don't even want to throw a number and say don't do it. Yeah, well. See, the thing is, I don't have donations. The only donations I have set up are bits. Do it. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we've seen him. <laughs> oh, you know what I realized? I don't know. If I put the thing on loop, but we'll figure that out eventually. The song, the playlist on loop. All right, so that should be high. Whoop. Just like, just, just cook. Just please cook. Kay. So all I'm doing here is I want my chicken to brown. I'm not cooking it all the way through here because it is going to be slow cooked for a bit. S slow. It's like an uh, 45 minutes. I'm going to put all the thighs in, 
and let that do its thing. I'm going to grab a clean plate so I can try and, mm, yeah. Just careful because that is on people's visions. And that camera is such a low quality. You have to kind of. Oh, I don't know about that. That is I'm not stable. It's a little too high now. Uh, uh. Or is it gonna fall in? I don't think so. <laughs> I'd have to like punch it. Sorry. I'm gonna look at the the scene. I think that's fine. Again, if anyone in chat is uh, gets seasick, please say something. And we will adjust angles. Something I've seen on Amazon, there's like these little clips that you could attach a webcam to. It would be nice because then I could clip it because there's like a lip down there that we could do. All right. I guess we'll leave it on this scene for now and go back here so I make sure I don't me see anything. <gasps> Harry did. Oh, oh, that Harry boy. <gasps> oh, man, we're getting real close to another kanji emote. Very close. And it'd be a kanji emote that everyone can actually use. Uh, but that means I'd have to draw another one. Do we get the bubbly sound? It's real hot. <laughs> get that bubbly sound. Nope. Just kind of checking on that first one that I put down to see if it uh, had enough, if it browned enough. Um, wasn't happy with it, so I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing. You can see my, my feetsies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is what happens. Alright. Because again, like I said, whoop, we just want to get, get creasy. Not, not any further than that. Guys, to like keep checking the recipe too. <laughs> the description in the recipe is kind of <laughs> like oof. Uh, no, Jeff, it's not ready to eat. <laughs> yeah, it. So, kanji stuff is freeze dried raw, like chicken. So I don't know. But it does smell like cup noodle. So that might be a good thing. Um, but the recipe description here is remove. It says uh, saute the chicken browning on both sides, which we're doing. But the, the description of it is remove chicken once fat has been released. <laughs> like, what? That's not a description I've ever seen. Oh man, like. Seeing this camera right now makes me go, oh man, Jeff. We need to get another webcam. Because this opens up to a lot of possibilities. Woo. Was your dinner good, Kanji? Did you enjoy that? At least you got to eat. That's right, there was a spice mixture I wanted to deal with. Which is essentially everything here. Black pepper, oregano, salt, garlic powder, uh, some kind of spice. 
a natto seeds, which I don't have. But it says, or turmeric, which is why I used turmeric earlier. Cumin and coriander. And of course, the recipe there is like, oh, this is a homemade version of this, like, Goya uh, spice. Luna has no MSG. There's nothing wrong with MSG. It's fine. It is a fine thing to use in cooking. There you go. But, uh, mm, yeah. Both sides have browned nicely. You want raw chicken? Come get it. Move that right there. I don't need to add any oil because I guess, yeah, some of the fat of the chicken did release. Um, so I'm going to put the chicken legs here and repeat the same process. Besides me making a, a mess with like all the prep, I'm kind of excited because this is kind of a one pot thing. Everything, the rice and all of that is going to be in there and it's just going to cook in there. Salmonella stream. Nobody wants that. You don't want it, Kanji. It would make you sicky. Actually, I think with all the spices that are in here, because, like, you can see the oil kind of turned that yellow. Uh, might not need the saffron. It's probably thanks to the turmeric, mostly. Well, I guess I could have just bought eight thighs. But the legs only came in five or like ten. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'll be making a little more than the recipe calls for, but that's fine. Don't need to prep a spec. Let me actually. <laughs> I had a pan over there for the. Uh, the rice pudding <laughs> slowly. I think oil was kind of jumping over. Since this is smaller, we're gonna just kind of give it. Probably gonna try and get all four sides. And reduce that heat a little bit. Making so much noise. It's a smaller side, so we're not gonna have to. Have it. We don't have to worry about it cooking. <laughs> the oil like pops in my face. All is safe. Wah. Oof, I'll save it. Actually, I'm gonna make sure to put this away from me because that had the raw chicken. <laughs> it's like you're here, Jeff. That's kind of weird. One day we'll have smell o vision and everybody will be able to smell. Come on, Twitch, get on that. Alright. 
the legs are smaller, that takes less time. I'm gonna remove that, and then we're gonna add the onion and the bell peppers, and let that cook. Cause we wanna. Whoop. <laughs> No chicken, stay there. Just to heat a little bit. And we're gonna start the onion and the peppers first, and then we will add the garlic in next. So I'm gonna switch. There we go, giving that a good mix. We're gonna let that soften, probably about two minutes, until the onions become slightly, they're slightly getting on their, on their way. Until the onion is translucent, excellent. While I wait for that, I'm gonna open up my tomato sauce that I'm gonna need. I guess I'll measure out my chicken broth, too. Mm. Perfect. Measuring cups are on the right side. I'll need you eventually, but not now. I'm excited for this. Should be tasty. And I also have avocado and cilantro and stuff like that to kind of serve with it. Avocado makes me happy. Makes me very happy. It's just two cups. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna give this a spinner room. I'm gonna add the garlic in. Are five cloves of garlic. <laughs> okay. And the garlic's not gonna change much in in look here right now, but you'll start to smell it as you cook it, so you'll be able to know when it's ready to get like stuff thrown in. Now, gonna keep reading. Uh, we're gonna put the chicken back in, and then we add this, a bunch of spices. I'm curious if I need to, we'll see. Um, and then we're gonna add the rice. So this recipe calls for two cups of rice. So a lot of times, so see I have my rice cooker uh, cup in there, because usually when I cook rice I just do it in the rice cooker. So that is technically not a, a normal cup, so I'll just get the actual, I think it's like more like a three-fourths of a cup. Okay, I'm starting to smell the garlic, which is nice, which means I could throw my chicken back in. Yeah, I, anytime I, I start like concepting a recipe with rice in it, I'm like, oh God, I use my rice cooker. <laughs> it's always like, uh... <laughs> Let me think about that for a moment. I have... What was I trying to think of? I was working on like a cilantro rice uh, recipe that I'm thinking about for, for a future one. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> do, I, do I write the recipe with like instructions to... <laughs> Do it over a pan, or just go. Uh, you, you, use your rice cooker, and then do things. Has your uh, schedule? You're in North Carolina right now, still, right? 
See, Jeff's asking the same questions. He's got it. He's got it. Alright, so we're going to kind of give this a little mix, so... I might add some more spices in here. Salt and pepper, too, because I don't think I put enough in. Which, with that, we'll be able to also add a bunch more after, after it's done. More, more garlic powder. Even though there's garlic in here, we're throwing more garlic powder. Can't have both. Thanks, AJ. Get more. Just throwing all the spices randomly in. There are a lot of times with recipes, I'm like, oh, you guys, you guys are under seasoning it. But also, my chicken pieces might be much larger than they called for. Tumor came out way quicker than I expected. It's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna be okay. Some more oregano. Now time to mix it up again. Well, I hope that that whole transition goes quickly for you. Um, cause I know you've been working, working on your move and, and switch for a bit. And if you need any, any help when you start sending things out, let us know the kinds of positions you're looking for. And we could, if we know anyone, we can help out. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Recipe. Uh, that'll put in last. Do, 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 do. Add that. Return the chicken to the pot. Add these things. Tomato sauce. I just realized I'm like, and tomato sauce, go. 8 ounce can. That is a 15 ounce can. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> that broth. I want to add a little extra. No. No. You don't want to add extra broth. We've already added too much. This might be t more tomatoey than expected. Oh, Mama House 1984. Thank you for the raid. What were you streaming today? As Kanji starts barking. Kan Jeff, Kanji's just excited that we're, uh, that we got a raid. <laughs> Alright, so the last pieces. Make sure these are the last pieces I need to add. Add the rice, stir coat and fully submerge it and the uh, bay leaf. Then we'll bring to the boil and then reduce to low heat. About 35 minutes afterwards. Ta -da! Put in our rice and we're mixing that up. Isles of War, thank you for the follow! My sounds are working today in the kitchen. That's exciting. Okay. This already looks wonderful. But we got raw chicken and uh, uncooked rice. Ooh, pork gyoza. Fried rice and oatmeal scotchies. Ooh, nice variety. Dragonfire, what color is yours? I, I love this. I love this thing so much. Yeah, Brandon, we have the, the stove cam, which is Kanji's cam <laughs> for right now. Which, for this, 
It says, I want to keep making sure I read the recipe right. When the rice has absorbed some of the liquid. Okay, so we want to bring it to a boil. And then we want to reduce the heat. Come to a boil, please. Ooh. Red is a good a good kitchenware color. In my kitchen, my color a lot of my things I have I have this green pot, I have a green KitchenAid mixer, and then I've slowly also started adding like pink items. It's just it's nice when you can kind of like colorize your kitchen. <laughs> So, uh, Mama, with the the gyoza, did you use pre-made wrappers, or did you make your wrappers too? I always, I always love a good gyoza recipe. Put this out of the way because I don't need it. Oh, it's slowly coming to a boil. Sure, also things aren't stuck there. I think I've done, I've attempted homemade wrappers like once or twice. I'm like, it's just so much easier with pre made wrappers. <laughs> oh, yay! Kanji was a nice boy and shared his treat, so I'm happy that your dog has enjoyed it. Once this starts boiling and then I can reduce it to the simmer, I think I'm going to be able to start the rice pudding up. And the rice pudding also has like a, a cooking period because it's again cooking some rice. That one's going to be, we're going to attempt it to be vegan. I've done one on my site before that has like milk and stuff, but I was curious to see if it would work. There's a few changes and a few additional spices that I'm putting in, um, but I'm curious if it'll work with an almond milk instead. Just because I like, I like adding a few more extra bonus ones. It's from Katamari Forever. I love that game a lot. It's good. <laughs> it was like, Jeff and I were sitting and we were like, oh man. Jeff, I need music. Go figure it out. <laughs> and he picked it. And I was like, excellent. Excellent choice. It's quality music. I almost came back. I'm gonna look at one other one other recipe real quick. Hmm. There are a lot of times when I'm like looking at recipes that I jump around a bunch of different ones. Add the chicken cover and reduce to medium low simmer until the liquid is absorbed and the rice is tender. About 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. So once it comes to a boil. Which it is starting to do. We can reduce our heat. Which. I'm actually going to move it. To a different area. So then I could use this area for. Uh, is this going to sit there covered? That's nah, not going to be. I'm going to shuffle it this way. Back here now, doing its thing, all alone. Let me switch real quick. Go back to that. So the empty store. Okay, so what we'll do? I don't need any of the spices. I'm gonna look at my other recipe that I have written down. So there's a little bit of prep work that I need to do before I put it onto the oven. Part of that is cleaning, <laughs> cleaning the pan I put next to the popping chicken. Don't, if I want to keep this vegan. I don't want, <laughs> I don't need chicken in there. <laughs> chicken oil. Oops. Okay. 
I need to move that cutting board because that cutting board has chicken part. Move it over here. So if I want to stir, I should put a timer on. It's always a thing. Or five minutes. It's like a mess in here. Okay. Oh. And this one's not too bad. I might have to find like other things to do because a lot of this is gonna be like sitting here waiting for a little bit. Baby. Maybe we'll transition to like a game for waiting for a long period of time. So, with this, I need my rice. <laughs> Just ready for like the camera to go whoop, <laughs> and we're down. <laughs> we're done. Uh, rice, half cup. So we're making a small portion because I don't want a lot of rice pudding to sit around in the fridge for too long. Um, and I believe this should make about two portions. Uh, maybe two large portions, but we shall see. Um, the nice thing with rice pudding is you can have it cold, warm. That doesn't go there. <laughs> that is not its home. And then for my main like spice sources. I'm gonna do something a little interesting. So I'm gonna have a cinnamon stick in there. One. Star anise. Which the star anise is probably gonna be the, the big, no matter what amount of star anise you put, you do end up, it is a strong flavor. But I felt like adding some extra spices to this to see how it would be. Need to grab, how many did I say? Three, no, two cardamom pods. Which I want to slightly smash these open. You know what I didn't put in the, I didn't put a bait leaf in. This is why I put all the ingredients like over here next to me before I start streaming because I'd, it'd be chaotic otherwise. So. There we go. Simmering nicely. I opened and checked that. Use this knife to pop these a little open. It is an arroz con leche with a uh, I'm gonna use almond milk instead. I'm hoping it works, like it should. Most of the time when I use um, dairy replacement items, I haven't had an issue in, in terms of the, the cooking. And I'm definitely testing it with the almond uh, milk today. I would imagine coconut milk probably would be a little more fitting, but I'll see how that tastes. Maybe this weekend I'll make another batch because this isn't bad. It's usually like make it and then let it sit there and let it do its thing for a little bit. Karma and vanilla pod. So, I need half of a vanilla pod. So I used my scissors earlier. There we go. Ziploc, Ziploc. I know I have another cutting board and I probably should grab it just to be be safe. Make sure I don't like cut myself by doing something dumb. That is 
We always have to have uh, kitchen safety first. So I'm popping this open because I do want the the seeds to kind of like go in there. Split in half and scrape is what I want. So I'm going to get the pods, the little vanilla bean, get that there. And also this other side. I'll move this here now. You guys can kind of see it in the upper corner. I also need to get a lime and an orange to get some peel off of it. Because I like the this what citrus does to rice puddings. Or arroz con leche. Um, it adds a nice, a nice extra bite to it. My limes. Got these limes. There we go. So I'm going to give these a quick rinse also to make sure, because we're using the, the skin, we're getting large peels. Just looking like for my, uh, for the Cuban sandwiches that I'm making this weekend, I will need these too. Lots of lots of zest needed. Uh, come here, rice. Let me put you here so you can kind of keep. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Jeff, I made a mistake. Oh no! I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. Where's my peel? Huh? He, the better solution, this is this is all experimenting. We will slowly. So. I want a peel. Which, it's just a, I'm kind of like using a peeler to just kind of get the skin off. It's a very large peel. Probably didn't need that much. But obviously with the lime, it's gonna came in. Kind of give it a little bit of a okay, or don't. <gasps> Kevin! <gasps> Hi, Kevin! I'm trying to just trying to get that peel. Uh-oh. Kanji's had a day. Is, is, or is it because of the sun? Oh my god, Kanji's like... <laughs> he tried poking the camera. Okay. This is actually a lot of... Probably enough. <laughs> you did a nice twirl with the conj. Um, some. S it's like a lot of. Just kind of put these ingredients in. Some salt. I did not grab sugar. Don't know grab sugar. Just stay right where you. Relax, conj. Take it easy. Okay. a long way around the pantry because uh, <laughs> there's wires in that direction and with my balance I would find a way to foam and you wouldn't be able to see all you would see is the camera go blah yeah I did that peel I did a good job peeling look at them doggos Doggo. I like them doggos three tablespoons kind of cat like Adding things in and hoping this works. Boop. Chaos. 
It's controlled chaos. <laughs> Actually, before, typically. And it's only with the streams that I've, I'm doing this. I set them up here. Reduce that. I set I set up the recipes here so I'm not having to run around in places. Um, but a lot of times when I'm doing things, I'm like, oh, whatever. Let me just grab stuff and put it in. Make sure. <laughs> I sh I could be better. I could be more organized in my kitchen. Sometimes. So my my strategy stra strategy is controlled chaos. Sugar salt. I don't have it. Oh my gosh, recipe. No, no. Almond milk is right there at the very top. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Of course, we have some quality HEB brand uh, almond milk. We gotta, we gotta work on that uh, HEB sponsor. Get that. That's what we want. Just so we could be just like the Houston Outlaws. <laughs> Two whole cup of roos. Something about that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I do live in Texas. <laughs> I am in Houston. Make sure this number's right, because something seems wrong here. <laughs> hey, outlaws, how about you, you take care of me? Yeah, no, this is right. Okay, I am right. Yeah. We're good, we're good. We're good. Just looking at my previous recipe. So we'll see. Wait, wait. So I am using unsweetened almond milk because I've added sugar and I've added like my flavors so I don't want my almond milk muddling the flavors I'm, I'm trying to incorporate Do -de -de -de. Oh, I have to check if mine I didn't plan I didn't plan is it washed did I wash it <laughs> It's always a moment of, oh no. Nope, I see it. So before I turn that heat on, which I'm gonna flip. Oh, and new bronfels. I don't think, oof, that, you know. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I've, uh, I think we've driven through new bronfels uh, a few times. I think when we've gone to San Antonio and then gone to Austin. We have been in Austin a lot. Because we have a lot of friends out in that area. So I know I'm curious if, like, my Bucky's is, is wrapped up today. So, it's kind of hiding. <laughs> Shy. So here are all of my things mixed together. Hey, if I, well, and I'm like, oh gosh, if I time this, both the, the arroz con pollo will be done and then the, the, the thing will be done. Then we have 30 minutes to kill. I noticed that. All right, let's try and, maybe because it's like, hello, is my hand in focus? Is it trying, it might be trying to, again, this is all test, test kitchen stuff. I wonder if it was getting that, uh, actually open this real quick and kind of get my rice a little, oh my gosh. Gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Because I do have some rice in some spots that I want to get. I put, there's also ca uh, cardamom pod, so it's the 
sugar, cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, a vanilla bean, uh, half of a van vanilla bean, not the whole thing. And then, yeah, the, the lemons. Lemons. There's no lemons. There actually is none. There are only limes and orange peels. I don't know if we're going to be able to... So if you go to the properties there, and then you go to configure video, it's going to open up like the Logitech stuff. <laughs> so we'll see if we can fix that. <laughs> Just like put one right here so you can see me walking around. I would imagine that would make people sick. Oh. Oh. But we're definitely... The camera that's being used for the stove is typically the kanji cam. Like it's actually marked in Streamlabs as the kanji cam. Yes, I did. I did scrape the bean. Well, it's doing pretty good for. That's fine. No, no, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that would be a good one. I did scrape the bean. Um, after it. Da -da -da, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce the heat. As you can see, there's like some of the chunks of the beans there. Let me grab another. Let me grab a baby one. Kind of big old chunks. One thing I'm worried about with what is this? Eek. No, that's just that's vanilla bean. <laughs> well, that looks funny. Just vanilla bean. Little beans. Okay, I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then cover and let that sit for. 30 minutes also, and the rice is at, has just passed the 30 minute mark. I'm like slowly move things out of the way. I'm trying to think if there's another thing I could prep right now. Can't prep. I need pizza dough for another day, but that's, it's too early to do a pizza dough. Maybe do that tomorrow. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of like messed up. But yeah, Bucky's is here. <laughs> like once you move to Texas, you kind of start incorporating all, all on that. Yeah, no, Jeff, Jeff does a good job. He, he is my, uh, the producer. We'll say he's the producer. I'm curious if this will stay. I'm gonna hold on to this because I will need this, this later. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that the camera that's currently being used on the stove. Oops. Actually, <laughs> Stitch, you remember when we used to do Google Hangouts? And we had like the big group of Google, like when we, when we first moved down to Texas, we would always do like the silly Google Hangouts. That was the web, that webcam is the one that we bought. One of the ones we bought for that. Bucky's is life here in Texas. Oh my God, the first time I went to a Bucky's, I was like, this, this is so magical. How can a, a truck stop or just like a, a any stop be this wonderful? <laughs> It's so clean. <laughs> it's so nice. Gotta check one more thing. Bailey's all right. Or until the rice is fully cooked. And frozen peas at the last five minutes. So we get some nice color into the arroz. Con pollo. I know for this week, this is my big, uh, my big leftover one, which I made in the middle of the week, which is good enough. Good enough. What are we making tomorrow? Half the time I don't remember what I write. It goes, the way I plan my weeks is Saturday, I, I wake up and I kind of like make my list of, this is what I'm making for the, the blog and whatever else I'm making from now until next Friday. I, I write that all up and then I go shopping. 
Um, so that's usually like my, my start of my cooking week. Um, we're, almost getting there. we're almost getting to a boil. What, what is this freaking out? Did I do something? Did I? Oops. It's possible. So I do that and then I, I tend to... Oh, mushroom stroganoff. That's a good time. Can't prep anything for that. Nope. Almost there. Kind of give it a little bit of a shake. So we kind of have the vanilla beans uh, pop out a little more. <sighs> oh my gosh. Another check. Because they're shutting down Hangouts, right? Yeah, Hangouts is end of the year. So of course they're gonna get a new thing. Oh, Google. And the music was, Jeff, you did a great job with that. That's definitely been one of the interesting things that like started in the stream and started to figure out in the kitchen. So I have a, I have a big enough kitchen here. Uh, but there's definitely wires everywhere, and I have to, I, I currently use my main machine, um, so I have to drag it from my room and drag it into here and move it. So it's like, it's it's a little bit of a process. But I've been I've been having a lot of fun doing this, so it's it's okay for me to go like, okay, time to go grab my computer and carry it over here. And then I I have a box of like the wires that I, I have in the kitchen for the extra cameras. I'm like, okay, put this here, put this there. Okay, so that's boiling. Almost. Yeah. And I give it a little bit of a, a, a stir. And then I'm going to also reduce my heat so it stays at a simmer and cover. Cover. Like, actually put the cover on. Gonna look once more at this. I think I'm noticing is like stuff is getting real thick. So I want to make sure that the bottom part is still getting liquid to it. So we're getting there. We're getting there. The saddest thing would be if the chicken misbehaves and is like, nah, nah, I'm not going to be done, but the rice will be done. That would be so sad. Hi, Onich-chan. Yes, so the simmer is, so the rice actually gets ten. It's kind of like you're making rice, which, like I've mentioned earlier, I have a rice cooker and I cheat, so I love my rice cooker and that's how I do my rice. But yeah, it's a similar concept. I want the rice to go ahead and absorb all of the flavor and all of the liquid and become nice and fluffy. We don't want it to go all the way, because sometimes, with, with, with your rice pudding, you want it to have a little bit of the liquid in there for sure. So it's that creamy factor. Which is why it was a half cup of rice uh, to two cups of liquid. So the, the liquid amount is much higher than you would usually do for a rice. For rice in general. So I don't, that's not where I get water. I'm going crazy. But yeah, right near the end for the the rice pudding, once it's all, most of the liquid has evaporated, I will be removing all of the spices because you don't want to bite into a cardamom pot. <laughs> I've done that, and that's, I've done it at a few like Indian restaurants, especially they'll have the cardamom pops, and this was me, my young me, going, "Oh, okay, what's this?" Munch. It's like, "Oh no, oh. Like I, I love me some, I love me cardamom, but I guess I'll go back to this one. 
It's not much is happening in in this realm for a bit. Young me's just like, here, let me try this. It's gonna be fine. It's all good. No worries. And it's like, uh oh, I have a mouth of like flavor all at once, which is no no bueno. Could be silly. Oh. So on Sunday, I could show these still. I'm happy, they, they're still held up. So on the last stream, I made the energy bars and they're still holding up. So those are good. <laughs> made these. And Jeff and I have been eating them through the week and they're holding up well in the, the, the fridge. When I first like took them out after they had like their hour to rest, they were loose. For sure on the stream, it kind of looked loose, and I'm like, oof. Mama, thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you so much for the raid. You have a wonderful evening. And go ahead, try. <laughs> I know that, that feeling of the kitchen cleanup. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I'll see you around. Okay. So that was a success. What else did I make? Ooh, the... Also, the quinoa bowls that we made, they were really good the next day. Two days. We had them two days later, and they were, it was great cold. So the two recipes I made on Sunday were, were, were hits. At least I think. Watch Jeff say otherwise. Oh, it was awful. Yes. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Like, oof. No, I don't know. I can't say that you liked it. I can't predict. Predict things. No, Jeff's not the bad guy. Doing that. I keep wanting to open and mix, and it's like, no, don't, just leave it, leave it alone. I'm gonna behave myself and let it cook. I'm like, 70 minutes. What to do? This is definitely a moment I'm like, okay, so I didn't I didn't plan this out correctly. Twenty second century villain. Jeff is from the future. That's information I was not supposed to share with you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, here he comes. I'm trying to think, Jeff, I'm like what to do with these like sixteen minutes. It's definitely one of those, I, oops, the, uh, the, the French one. <laughs> How do you say it? Le Crusert? <laughs> I can't do French words. <laughs> the big green can. Oh, God, no. Because, no, no cleaning can. That's Jeff's job. <laughs> Good man. Okay, so Jeff asked, I don't know if it, it always picks up. Talk about the gear. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Jeff was asking like what kind of upgrades we would want to do for the stream. Um, so one of the big things is obviously because I've, s yes. Thank you, Stitch. That's, that. You're gonna have to be louder to pronounce it. So as you can see, we have this lovely setup here of the webcam and we've lost the webcam for kanji and that's what people want. People want the kanji cam. Um, which the good thing is Kanji has learned to like, we've placed his bed in the kitchen and he permanently, like he just sits there. So an ex one extra camera would be nice. Cause then I could have an extra one here and doing that. Um, and maybe the one thing I'm always curious about cause you'll come in Jeff and talk occasionally. This mic does a good job of like my voice coming through. Cruzier J. 
Zay? Crusade? The Crusade? <laughs> As I attempt to say words, I can't say words half the time. Um, this is a cheapo cutting board. Probably need to replace it soon. Huh? Yeah, actually, because I, I'm tr I've been trying to figure out the lighting, maybe something darker. So it definitely, I could, I forgot my dad had dropped off a few lights, so that could be worth looking into seeing if this, that could improve the lighting in here. Um, yeah, I don't need a mic to pick up more sound, because when, when I did my first stream, there was a lot of, uh, the mic didn't work that I had, so we had to use the webcam, and that was a, a disaster. Um, I mentioned earlier that these spices I buy from the Spice House, which is in Chicago. Um, and they ship them here, so that's... Stitch, thank you for that follow. Um, and then if I get real lazy, I'll get s like the bigger spices at Costco. So I have, I have an older machine that we were going to try and use for, for streaming. But uh, when I loaded it, it was still in the year. It ha it needs to get formatted and stuff. It will either be used for in here or for, for DDR. Do what? Make Harry fix the computer? <gasps> Jeff, check if your video cut out. Oh, he's on mobile? And make sure. It's still up? Okay. Gonna kinda give the uh, the rice pudding. I'm I'm also using for both of these recipes, I'm using short grain rice, but because that's what I tend to buy. I'll buy short grain rice and that's just kinda what we we have yeah also you could see our lovely wire situation here we have wires going this away um i do have the computer on a oh you're on a bus i miss public transit <laughs> that's there is a lack a severe lack of uh public transit here in houston uh kind of miss that so anytime I hear people in cities that are there because I grew up with it in Chicago and then moving down here and it was like oh good thing I at least got my license at 16 so I at least didn't have to like take a driver's license thing a laptop would be nice so the actual setup I could probably kind of mm. so I have this webcam here which is directly in front of my fridge. I'm able to open one of the doors and do that. Directly next to me, I do have a laptop, but this is a Chromebook. So I can't do anything with that. Um, so what I use it for is, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting the insides of how I've been setting this up. Um, I have a Chromebook here so I could see chat. Because something I, <laughs> I'm just gonna turn it so y'all can see. Um, the craziness that happens here. So there's my, and then next to it is a, our, we have a second TV that never gets used because we're not big TV watchers. So that's there, and been in the kitchen table a bit. Um, oh, Jeff, you could, yeah. make it turn, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff was saying my, my mic's cutting. So, okay, now here, I can do this. So here is, here's the computer. It's also possible, let me make sure. Okay. The computer's here, and then we have this old TV so you can kind of see. <laughs> oh, this picture, it is our good friend Dodo Gama because he is a hungry boy and of course he would be in the kitchen. 
um, older keyboard, older stuff. But as, as you go over here, these are all the wires that are everywhere. There's a big extension cord because I think two weeks ago, uh, the power in the kitchen decided to flip and the computer, and I think it was the, am I still cutting? Hopefully not. Oh yeah, that's true. Stitch could be delayed. Let me know if it keeps cutting. I might have to switch the batteries. Right, so. well, go check because it could be the batteries right now acting up. Um, am I, is it touching something? Hope not. Okay. Okay. It's because I was standing in a weird spot. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of wires. And then from the computer, there's the ethernet that goes up and around the pantry thing and then through the, into the garage, basically. So that's the crazy setup I have now. My eventual hope is that I'd have like a little cart <laughs> that would have the machine and then everything else kind of like where I move that cart when, when I'm not doing things. So I don't have a TV sitting here. Welcome back. So I don't have a TV sitting in the, uh, <laughs> in my kitchen. Because having to move that is uh, a pain. Just going to have to go in the other room and, and move that there. Okay, keep checking on things. Still got that good simmer here. Going to check. Still got a decent amount of liquid in here. Ooh. But that has a good smell. It's definitely starting to... Hmm. I'm actually going to check the temperature on this chicken. Let me swap. Real quick. Because the heats are the same. Oop. Can I see the rice is starting to absorb all the liquid? I did add extra tomato sauce, so I do need to make sh keep that into account. Oop. With everything. And set seven minutes. Actually, actually, this piece of chicken, <laughs> one of the pieces of chicken. No. So, yeah, I think it's very, very close. Let me uh, switch through. Oh my gosh. When I was, uh, <sighs> when we first moved here and the apartment we moved into, it's like, Wait, wait, gas? What the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> no, electric. Did I say that right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, electric. If I, if I, my brain's working. It's because I'm, I'm hungry. Um, I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? And the cooking with it is... Uh, uh, <sighs> upsetting. I have to get into my freezer to get... We got about five minutes left in that. I'm gonna get these peas, which it recipe calls for only a half cup. Only a half cup. We'll add, we'll add a little, a little extra. Okay. I gotta mix that in. And then we'll re, we'll recover up. Whoop. Yeah, you can see, because I added too much tomato sauce, this is much redder than it should be. But that's okay. I'm sure it'll still be delicious. So we got that five minutes left. The chicken was looking like it was done, so we're good there. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at the uh, <laughs> the rice pudding. It's like 
skimming over. Ooh, we're getting ooh, we're getting very close here. Still got a decent amount of liquid. Which this this one's a big a big test because I'm hoping that the 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 non dairy factory doesn't make a big difference. Yeah, I did I did give it a a sear. Because you kinda need to, otherwise it gets sad. Also it gave a nice little like extra bits at the bottom, so we were able to use that to be delicious. Okay. So I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. Very close. Almost, almost serving time. Just start moving things, and I guess I could grab another bowl so Jeff can have a portion. <gasps> We're gonna be eating before. It's not even gonna be eight o'clock. I was worried. A little worried. Just, whew. Okay. That's a good chunk. Mm. There might have been too much liquid in there. But that liquid tastes very good. <laughs> That was the uh, rice pudding. Arroz con leche, rice pudding, whichever one. That was very good. I haven't tried. Because I was worried because I was like, oh, it, there's raw chicken in here. But now we're past that point. like sitting there blocking it this is just me not thinking about the camera because typically I'm used to having because I did the pictures for the website I'm used to my my tripod being like here or here and then I do things and then I walk up and then I take a picture I have a nice little thing to take pictures with so that's always good always good <laughs> We're getting, we're getting down to the wire. Now, you all know what I'm making. Is anyone else having some fun, delicious dinners this, e this evening? Oh, it's evening here in the States. Whatever time, any good food? <laughs> Apron cam. Are there wire... Wireless webcams? Is that a thing? I haven't actually, like, even looked into that. Let's see. I'm gonna start and the rice as it sticks to the bottom of the pan. If only I followed my own instructions. Oh, I was like, what is that in there? It was the lime zest. Ooh, fa okay, how do you do your, what makes them fancy? What makes your turkey burgers fancy? Avocado, custom vinaigrette, <gasps> prosciutto crisp, yes! Oh, that sounds, man, I really want some prosciutto, because today at lunch, a coworker was just eating like a prosciutto sandwich, and I was like, that looks wonderful. I need that in my life. Maybe I'll make a prosciutto arugula pizza this weekend. Because I'm planning on doing pizza Friday. Because Harry's coming over. We're going to play all the board games. I don't know 
other kinds of pizzas we're gonna make? Jeff, what other kinds of pizzas should we make this weekend? Because we can make four different ones, technically. Because I'm crazy. That, yeah, I like that idea. I'll probably do that. Four different pizzas. We'll probably do the one that's with meat. The other one's kind of... Yes. Okay. So, in theory... Let's see if the peas are... Peas are cooked. I'll turn the heat off. Because actually, most of the liquid has, has drained out here. I'm going to double check temperatures one more time because there was thigh that was being funky. No one, yeah. This is the thigh that's being funky. Yeah, everything. There's just one thigh that decided that it's going to be just slightly under. So that's the one we won't eat. <laughs> All right. Jeff! Ooh, buffalo chicken is a good one. Ooh. Mats and ricotta. Getting like a weird phone call. I'm like, phone number is called twice now? No, oh, ignore it. Um,. Yeah, we actually we actually buy a fig jam, and that comes out real like it's it's really sweet and really like it's balanced with the uh, what is it? What do we put? No, we do like a garlic cream sauce, and then you put the balsamic vinaigrette reduction, and yeah, all of that's very good. Now, yeah, you could also put the prosciutto on, and it's just even. Maybe we should get like uh Oh yay Actually the rice pudding is starting to Okay Okay Beth come 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 Over here you gotta come check out the food So not that no <laughs> You. Chicken thigh. Ooh. No, I have not. Um, Stitch has mentioned that there is a like a, a beef prosciutto to be before. I feel like I'm gonna have to go to a uh, like a Whole Foods or something to find that. It would not solve your pizza dilemma. It needs a salt factor in it. Right, so I'm gonna swap a roux. Main focus. So, this is the end result. You want some prints? So the rice is good. The chicken is cooked. Mm. That is very tasty. I'll put this over here. So I can move this back. I believe. Yeah, at this point. Move this over. Here. I, the rice pudding, which I'll cover again. Well, no. 
There are two more things I need to do with the rice pudding. Let's go back. Yeah, could do a, a salad that pairs with it. Actually, arugula might help yours a little bit. Like, just to have a different, a different flavor in there. Okay. Do you kind of see this? It's off the heat right now. I'm going to carefully, with quotations, attempt to remove all the bits that are in there with my hand. Sometimes that's easier. It's very hot. Now I have my vanilla bean pod here. I'm going to also make sure to scrape it some extra more. Make sure we get all those beans out of there. Little seeds, get in there! Okay. Big ol' cinnamon. That's hiding all the liquid in it. Okay, one. I have to like in my head remember what would. Hey, hey. That's called thinking. Oh, there's that. <laughs> I've definitely uh probably abused my hands a little too much in the kitchen the point that like the, the tips are like whatever just uh deal with the heat I, the, okay. so I could talk about like one of my biggest mistakes I made in the kitchen uh, actually with the the pot uh, it was in the oven which was it this one I, it wasn't this one it was one of, it was a, a different pot and it had a metal handle and I took it out to do some stirring, and I was stirring, and I, I moved the, the top on, on top of a surface that was fine. And then, not thinking about it, I went and I grabbed it with my bare hands. And uh, yeah, my hand was uh, burnt for a bit. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely one of the biggest oopsies I did. Okay, so that, so I need, so to keep it vegan, I have coconut oil to act as, usually I throw in butter, like a little bit of butter in at this point, but I'm gonna have, to give it a little extra creaminess, I'm gonna do some coconut oil instead. And I'm gonna grab, I've done honey before, so instead of honey, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, maple syrup. Toasty hands. No, there's a honey in here. Or, not a honey. A maple syrup. This maple syrup made me laugh because I, I saw it and it was like, the brand is called the, the Maple Guild. And I was like, oh, that sounds, oh. It is a Vermont maple. Maple syrup. Get out of here. Right. So got that all mixed in. Ta -da. Gives it a nice little extra shine. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little taste to make sure that there's enough. <laughs> That's very good. That is delicious. I want to say that camera does not do it justice. So I'll, I'll move it over to a different bowl and move back Move it to this camera. Or 
slightly better camera. <laughs> I probably should have grabbed a darker bowl. <laughs> it's not the weekend. I'm not working on my blog right now, so I'm not thinking about plating. <laughs> Middle of the week. Those black hole pictures were super cool. It was super. Actually, I was surprised no one at. Uh, Cause I went to a few meetings today. Oh, did the Falcon Heavy get delayed? Uh, uh, so that happens a lot. Upper atmosphere, yeah, so... Um, that was the thing, I got lucky, to do, I was very lucky last year. Uh, I had to go to the Kennedy Space Center for some training. For, not entertaining training. But the same week I was there, there were actually, like, the same, I was there for four days and in that time period, there was a Go satellite that was set to be launched, and it did. And I was like, "Oh, that was that was one of the coolest things I've seen. <laughs> one of the the cooler space things I've been able to do." Now, granted, here in Houston, we have the we do a lot of training with the astronauts, so I have interacted with a few astronauts here. Um, and I've had the the pl the joy of being able to go through like the fake ISS mock-up, fake. It's, a, it's, it's the ISS mock-up. I've been able to walk around in that and do and do neat things like that. But when I went to KSC, I was like, oh, you guys put the the rockets in space. Well, they used to all they used to put people in space, but soon, hopefully soon, hopefully the SpaceX stuff keeps moving forward. Um, this is tasty. Jeff, you should come taste the, uh, the vegan pudding. Uh, I think once I get Jeff's thoughts on that, probably wrap her up for tonight. Which, hmm, all that took... Oh, two hours, not bad. No, you don't get the whole bowl. That's two portions. So that is a lot of rice pudding. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. I'm also going to be wrapping up soon. Um, Hopefully, I kept you entertained while you were <laughs> you were traveling home. Um, successful uh, results. Um, it was all very tasty. So I guess I will wrap up. Kanji's resting. He needs to rest his poor little foot. Um, so yeah, thank you all for stopping by. Let me actually see. Any of my buddies? Buddies. Screaming right now, and we could see if we could host someone. Yeah, I'm gonna host uh, my friend Two Girls One Game. She's also a cooking streamer. Uh, she does themed um, cooking streams. She'll do a 1950s style, and she has a, another character that she ends up playing, Gotharia. Uh, and she's doing that right now. They're doing 19. Gotharia cosplays 1950s girls. They're doing. New Mexican carne. Oh, they're also doing some some Mexican stuff. So I will toss her, o toss you all over to her. Thank you for stopping by. Um, show her some love. She's an amazing, amazing streamer. And yeah, y'all have a wonderful evening. <laughs>